You know, we've done a lot to this mine over here, but it's really feeling kind of wimpy, isn't it? I mean, sure, we we terraformed this wall on stream and it looks fantastic. We built out the entrance a little bit to really give it a little bit more oomph. And we built this wall surrounding the area. Heck, we even added a coal pile for burning purposes. And of course, the inside is looking super awesome. Let's just ignore this, this torch back here that you didn't see that. This mine needs to be a facility. It needs to be a whole darn operation. So today, we're going to be moving on up. Up this cliffside, to be specific. Um, We're going to be doing a build up here that's going to work with the area down here. And I don't want to wait around, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this build first thing this episode. So what can we build up here that's going to be useful for down here? Well, it's going to be purely aesthetic, but I'd like to add something that just gives a little bit more verticality to our mind down here. So we're going to build a medieval style crane up here to kind of lift ores up here and maybe have a place to store them over here or something. Um, I think it makes... Kind of, it kind of makes some sense since a lot of this is going to be farmland down here and you know maybe they had to go up this cliffside a little bit to save space to save all the ores here and also you probably wouldn't want to store them down low where the enemies can get to them easily you know it's it's not very good uh the first thing i need to do though is i want to drop this down two layers so it's level with the top of this and that way my crane isn't going to be sitting awkwardly higher, and I don't have to make it awkwardly long either, because it's already going to have to go out pretty far. So, a couple things real quick. I'm not worried about this wall being super flat. We're going to terraform this all the way around anyway. So, right now, it's going to look kind of bad, but eventually in time, this is all going to look a lot better and blend together super, super well. Second... We had to kind of cut into the fake hill we made a little bit here, and, and that's okay. We're just going to kind of close this up and just make a nice flat area here for us to build on. Now, I don't normally condone making super flat areas to build on, but again, I think in this situation, it makes sense. It makes sense to have a flat area here where you'd store stuff. Uh, and then also, since we built this hill up over on the other side, we kind of need to keep that, that a little bit. So... We're gonna try to bend some of this back in here to keep a natural looking bend and shape to the cliff side that we built up already. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna set down my chests and get going on starting this build. The first thing we wanna do is kind of establish ourselves here with a with a base for this crane. So I'm thinking on the thinner side is is probably a bit better for our purposes. So we're going to we're going to start it right here and we're going to do it with we're going to start it off with um some of these guys right here and we're going to go 5 wide. Now I do want to get a little bit of structure underneath of here as well just so it's it looks supported by more than just dirt because the weight of this thing would not be able to probably sit in dirt and be okay. And we're going to make it look a little sloppy around the outsides here. So it feels like it wasn't the greatest concreting or stoning job ever. And we're also going to add a little bit of an internal structure here for support. And going across here, we're going to drop some of these in here to kind of make it... We can't really do the crisscross patterns. I've got some pictures up of medieval medieval cranes, and you can't really do the crisscross at support that they seem to have. So we're just going to use these trap doors in linear aspects. All right, let's take a quick look at what we've got so far. This is looking decent. Pretty, pretty decent here. Uh, I'm going to strip all of these because I think that's just going to look a little bit cleaner. 
Now we need to make a little swivel point here. So I'm going to do that with a log. We're going to go up a little bit. And this next part's really going to kind of determine how high that goes, because I'm not sure how far out I need to go with, with the neck of this thing. So I'm going to make some slabs, because I want it to be kind of shallow here. And I think 36 should be enough. We're going to focus on this bottom part first. There's going to be a bottom part that comes out, and there's going to be a top part. Okay, so how we're going to do this is I think, I don't know if I want to do every one, maybe every two. I think one more set should do it here. Yeah, that looks like it's kind of centered over a nice part of this. So we're going to call that right there. We're going to leave that. And let's see, how long is that? That's not too bad. Okay, and now I need to get a bulkier part that also goes up, but even slower. And I don't know, is this a full? I can't tell if this was a full. I think, it's, I think it is a full. It is a full. Awesome. That is perfect. We're going to bring this out one. Okay, this needs to be... Like this. But I want to double this the entire way so it looks extra bulky here. I think that's getting the point across. I don't know. It might look a little bit funky. It might look a little bit weird. So here's a fun story. I am very upset right now. For some reason... My recording software, OBS, when I pause it sometimes, it doesn't, it doesn't refresh the screen and it just stays on the pause screen while I'm recording. And literally most of me building that crane was just the pause screen and I just realized it. and I had to pause it because I didn't let my dog outside. So we're missing a whole bunch of footage, um, which isn't fun. But just to kind of catch up where we are, I've finished the crane. I've built a little platform for it to be pulling some ores up. And now we are in the mines looking for some ores. Um, so I'm going to mine some ores. I'm going to go back topside once I'm done. And I will kind of talk through what I've did done. Did done. I can't even talk. I'm so upset right now. And I'll just kind of guide you through what I did, even though I can't show you. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, the ores have been acquired, and hopefully now we can finish off this build that you guys missed half of me building on. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. Um, it turned out really cool. I think the last time the video recording was working properly... I had had the main chunk of it done, but not the details. And this is where we're at right now. Uh, it's a little hard to get a little bit of a counterweight back here. We built kind of like a fence, a spruce fence rope. We have an anvil on top. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks mechanical. Um, we've got to use our imagination with this a little bit, of course. And I've added in some spruce trap doors to kind of chunk it up a little bit. Now over here, we've got a little wheel to kind of control the rope with the string, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that goes down to this platform here. Now I made it diagonal because I wanted it to look like it was in the corners of it. And I think it looks pretty good. And we're going to put some ores on top of here. And that's what I was getting while I was in there. We also got some granite. And oh, I'm sorry, I found six diamond blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these real quick. Because I just can't help myself anytime I get diamonds. And we're also going to try to repair some tools a little bit here. Nine, nine diamonds, not bad. Not bad. Take that. We also got some lapis here. I will break that out as well. This will be a lot more. 
Yeah, <laughs> this dude, this is a stack. It's crazy. Uh, let me go put these away real quick, and then we're gonna put the ores we got on this and get it going. Just something to note that I wanted to mention real quick. I did add the resource pack or data pack on that keeps Endermen from griefing. I've been seeing a lot of their little grass blocks all over the place, and I don't really want to ruin the ambiance of our build here, of our town. So I went ahead and turned that off. Uh, I don't really think that's cheating. I feel like creeper creeper um, griefing off is kind of cheating. Is definitely cheating, but the Enderman, all they do is pick up a dirt block and put it somewhere, and it's just annoying. Like, it doesn't do anything other than make me have to go and constantly fix my builds because of a little piece of dirt that's been appearing somewhere randomly. So, uh, I turn that off. Um, if you guys have a problem with that, if you think it's too cheaty, then, I mean, I can turn it back on, but I feel like it's not a huge deal at all. So let's hop on this thing literally. And I want to put, I think I want to do the gold ore on here. And I don't want this to look like perfectly symmetrical either. I want it to look like it's been kind of haphazardly put on here. And I think we can just go through like this and we'll put one there. And that should be good. Yeah, like that's looking pretty cool. That's looking like they're hauling the gold up there. And then I wanted to get, I got some iron ore too, because I wanted it to look like there was, you know, a second pile of stuff down here that was kind of waiting to go up top. So I'm just going to make a pile of this iron ore I got. And again, I don't really want it to be symmetrical at all. So what is kind of hard to do, <laughs> it's really hard to keep it symmetrical or not symmetrical but yeah there we go okay yeah that's this is awesome i'm so glad i decided to build this i'm so sorry i messed up recording half of it but i think it's turning out all right but i'm really liking how this is all coming together as like a little a little area for our mining our mining area just it has its own place now now, I kind of want to take a quick little break from the building before we get to some terraforming over there. Uh, and I want to get some enchanted books. I've been anytime I get some levels like this, because I've been I've been sitting in my AFK fishing farm. Anytime I get some levels like this, I try to go make some enchanted books. I also want to get a bow. We have a fresh, clean bow here, and I want to really I want to get an infinity bow so we're going to go for that first and then if we have any leftover levels we're going to go ahead and get some enchanted books as well after this one i'm just going to make a book <laughs> and we got infinity okay perfect but it's only punch two but that's all right let's get some books maybe we'll get something good in here blast protection no i'm breaking three i will take and i'm breaking three book all day Piercing three, nope. Depth Strider two, piercing four. Not very good. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple of these books back. I'm not gonna use this one ever. Um, I'm not gonna use this one ever. What would the next book be? Power three, it's just a power three. That's fine. It's not the best power book, but it'll make this bow a little bit better. I'm gonna put these in here and this in here as well and this paper. And we've got two on breaking two books we can combine together. But let's go make this bow pretty decent. All right, we're geared up pretty good right now. I have not been as low as nine levels in quite some time. But now that that's done, uh, I want to go over here. Now that I have Feather Falling, I just fall off this cliff all the time. It's probably a bad habit to get into. Um, but yeah, I want to cut this wall back a little bit. Because you can see how it's kind of just right up against that. Which is fine because we need to terraform this all anyway. So I'm just going to hack into this a little bit. And we're trying to keep a little bit of a natural shape as best as we can. But again, we're going to be terraforming it later. 
Okay, so I've actually decided to try to wrap this wall around and get it set up. I'm not going to do like some super fancy terraforming with it yet, uh, but I do want to at least get like this going a little bit so we can kind of see what we're working with here. We got this wall set up and ready to be fully terraformed. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this episode. I'm probably going to do that on a live stream because that kind of thing just really goes well with the whole live stream thing because it's just it's easy to do while I'm talking to people. But this crane is looking super awesome over here now that it doesn't look too crunched up against the wall. And we've got a little bit more space over there smelting factory or something and then have have some more piles of ore up there so i have recently just discovered an amazing path path style and i've decided that that is what i want to go with for all of the paths in this world so or at least in this town so i need to go ahead and i want to i want to do it, man. I want to go and just set this path up right now and get it looking super, super good. Um, you guys may have already noticed it through here. And I, if you caught my little short mini half episode where I updated this building last week, um, we, we started putting in the pathing here and it just looks so much cleaner than this, right? Like it just, I don't know, something about it just makes it pop so good. So what I want to do is I want to touch up some of the areas that we've already done with the path. So I'm going to get my packed mud. I'm going to get my mud bricks. We shouldn't need too much of this, but I do want to start getting that, that um, pathway up here done. Because right now it is not done, as you can see. It's, it's still all grass. It's still gross. And we're gonna we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, I see this is all just gonna look a lot better. Sweet, this is looking a lot nicer coming up here now. And there's actually a path going up here now too, which there wasn't before. I think we're pretty much done with all of the coarse dirt and the mud for now. And I think it's time that I swap out all of this out here, all of the path blocks out here. And we're just going to straight up swap them all out for the granite. I think I have enough, but there are quite a few blocks here. So this might take me a minute. So we just about finished this path. I need to still go do over towards the mine. But while I'm here, I also want to do this upper section that I haven't done yet. Uh, but I think this this is turning out really, really good. I mean, these colors go together so well. And I never think to use granite in anything uh, unless I'm mixing it with brick. However, you can you can just see how much more defined the path looks and how much less shallow and flat it looks. I mean, this this little bit of grass here just completely transformed this path and it's it's looking amazing. Now that that path is done and we have a little bit of extra time since I'm a dunce and messed up my recording earlier. Uh, I'm going to build something else up here, up on this little hill here. And it's something I've built in another world, my other world on YouTube, that I've kind of taken a little bit of a break from. 
But let's go ahead and swing over there real quick so that I can show you what it is. Hello and welcome to Boot Builds. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist myself. I couldn't resist. Anyway, welcome to my other world that I also have a series of on YouTube, but I haven't played on this in a little bit because I've been very, very obsessed with my hardcore world. This is probably my favorite world I've ever done, and it is probably the most effort I've ever put into a Minecraft world as well. Now, the reason we're here is because I want to take a build from this world and add it into our hardcore world. It's, it's a cool little build that I think will fit in very well with the crane that we just built and kind of help tie it in to to the hillside there and just make it have a purpose. And that build is this kind of outdoor little smelter shed thing I've made. It's not a huge build and it's not like a thoroughly impressive build, but it serves the purpose of being a super smelter and it works really well. Now, of course, we're gonna have to update this to match our world. Like this is gonna have to be dark oak here. I'm not sure if the barrels will still work on the bottom, but this will this will still be the same. We're going to change these to spruce and make it work. But inside here, you can see we've just got two mine carts, one for the coal, one for the items. There's a lot of hoppers set up in here and it just drops them into those furnaces. Um, you There's a switch on the front side of this, I think. Yeah, right here. And this activates those minecarts. They go back and forth and they just drop their stuff off. And then everything gets smelted eight items at a time. So anyway, I'm going to head back into my hardcore world now and get started on this. I'm going to build it in the form of a time lapse. And the reason why is because some of you have already seen me build this before. So I don't think I need to talk about it too much. And it's not a super super like detailed build and also time lapses just look really cool so i'm gonna get back to you on the other side of that and enjoy watching me build this i guess
right, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I did a little bit after the time lapse as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done. I decided to take a first look from down here because I also, I did some semi terraforming on this wall. I didn't fully do it yet because I want to get all of this cleaned up up here first. And so we can establish the proper top for this. So we need to get some moss in here. We need to get this top. We need to get some dirt up here. We need to get some, some of the leaf blocks and everything. But I also did take out, this is actually a different mountain, but I took out the big hill that was right here that was bothering me. And I think it looks so much better. We also started pulling this around the mountain a little bit. I didn't want to go any farther than that because I wanted to just kind of focus on this area for right now so that, um, you know, we can, you can finish this all up, but I think this whole area is looking really, really cool now. We'll probably add a few more little details in here as time goes on, but for right now, it's it's doing the job. So of course, yeah, we built the crane and we built the little the little pallet that it's pulling up top, and now we've got a super smelter. So I think this crane looks really, really cool coming up from over here. It just fills in this space over here that would have otherwise just been cliff. And it gives us something to look at and also kind of has some purpose for this whole area. Now, you may have seen me get started on this, but we started, we completed this path as well over to here. So we did a little bit of the terraforming. We did this path. I wanted this to feel a little bit more complete over here now that I was done everything because um, this path kind of comes in we put some grass in to kind of give it some depth and some height uh, the crane of course right here looking awesome and this path kind of comes around here we've got our little like foundation for this over here I decided to bring this coal up here and I'll show you why in a minute uh, I think it makes more sense to be with the smelter, but we did put something in its place down below. So we've got this little path kind of cut into this little semi cliff side right here. And we did that because we built this up higher. And so you go up the little path here and then this is the smeltery. I forgot to add a trap door over there, but I'll have to do that soon. Just ignore that. And there'll be trap doors right here too, to kind of hide that. But this is it. Like, it's a pretty simple build. Um, we we didn't make it exactly like I did in my other world. I, I tried to make it look a little bit better. I tried to put on, like, a fancier roof. We've got some holes. It's got some more depth to it. It's not flat and square. And, of course, we did it in dark oak. And I used spruce trap doors around the base instead of the, the barrels that we had in my other world. I also put some some of these in here and we forgot to strip that guy uh i put some of the pillars inside now in the other world i didn't have the pillars inside so it's blocking a couple of the smelters but i think it looks a little bit better this way it kind of breaks up the inside and we also put the the furnaces down one layer in the other world i had them on this layer so we've got this little lever over here that's going to wind up being annoying with this trap door but you flick this and then the magic happens back here we see the um the cart's going, and what's going to happen is there's nothing in either of these right now. These smelters aren't working. I need more coal. I need more stuff to put in here. But you put your items you want to get smelted up here. You put your items you want to burn in here, like coal. And these mine carts will just keep moving back and forth and distributing them throughout all of the throughout all of the the furnaces out here. Now, of course, nothing's working, so but you get the effect you get the idea uh i like how this fits in really well on this tiny little cliff it feels really tight up here but it also i don't know it makes it feel like they just squeezed it in there and i i said it last episode i can't get enough of this path it looks so good and back here we left just a little bit of space to come back here it's not a ton we're probably not going to store anything back here or do anything back here but you know, maybe we put a tree in here to kind of block this up or something. I don't know. Um, back, we just got some really simple smokestacks to kind of make it look like, you know, give it the effect that the smoke is coming off out here. I didn't, I didn't multi-block these. It's all cobblestone. I don't think we're going to see it very much. I don't think it matters much more than out in the front uh, where we can just kind of see the smoke going up and you can only see a little bit of it here and you can kind of see them peeking through back here too, which is kind of a cool feature about this. 
But I think this build has been super successful. I think this looks so awesome. I'm so happy I decided to do this. I was kind of going back and forth on it, but um, it's really, really making me happy that we did it. I'm gonna go run back downstairs real quick because I think two in one here, we move this up here and I think it looks better up here, this coal, this coal storage area. It's purely for aesthetics, but we also kind of solved a storage issue as well down here. So I'm not, so I'm not sure if you remember or not, but I was kind of unsure about in our cave here that we built the little mine, how to add more storage to it and make it look good. I was contemplating just doing a hidden underground area that didn't look good, but I think we got it sorted out here. And the cool thing is, is that we actually put the storage outside. So you may remember over here, that coal storage thing was there. I kind of took the same idea from that and I just put all of like the normal stones out here. So we got the cobble, the granite, the normal stone, the diorite and the andesite. And we tucked some barrels underneath of them. They're just supposed to be kind of hidden. Like they kind of blend in with all the, with all the coarse dirt. Um, I think this is a really cool way to solve some of our problem here and it gives us five new chests back here, five full chests that we can store any other type of stone in. And I just think this is a really neat way to, to kind of fix this problem and add something else to the world that's interesting to look at. And it it's it just kind of makes this area, this big area out in front, fill in a little bit better. But unfortunately, that is all the time I have for today. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this build and I hope you guys all enjoyed it too. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with me in this world. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. This is definitely the most devoted to a hardcore world I've ever been. And leave a comment down below. What's your favorite? What was your favorite thing we did today? Was it the smelter or was it the crane? Was it finally getting this wall kind of terraformed a little bit? Let me know down below. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.